Good morning, Arthur Mott for the ASNI TV. Now, after 14 years of trying to get some justice from the corrupt legal system and the corrupt court system here in Northern Ireland, I have now gone full circle. After being turned down by corrupt solicitors and lawyers who stole money on me and also stole money from the legal aid, that is the public purse, I reported these scum to the Law Society and the Bar Council and surprise, surprise, nothing was ever done. The Old Boys Club closed ranks. I then reported them to the Lord Chief Justice Declan Morgan and the Attorney General John Larkin but once again the Old Boys Club stood by each other and done nothing. These are the so-called upholders of law and order. God help the public who go to these people for any help. They are all as corrupt as each other. Not to mention a corrupt judge, an ex doctor, a corrupt judge uh, in high courts. He was an ex doctor at the Royal Victoria Hospital, who I also reported to these two, but once again it was swept under the carpet. Northern Ireland must be the most corrupt city in the UK. Now, I am not talking about the ordinary public, I am talking about these corrupt people who are supposed to be running our legal system and court system here in Northern Ireland. To round it off, I reported them all to the Public Prosecution Office. The director is Barr McGlory. I sent him a registered letter on the 31st of July 2014 to make sure he received it. So after uh, six weeks, I got no response from his office at all. So I phoned his office 20 times. Finally, they admitted that they had received my letter. But according to the post office who I phoned, uh, the letter was posted through his letterbox on the 1st of August, 2014. I waited another three weeks and still no reply. Now I phoned them again on the 25th of September 2014 and spoke to a Mr Murphy who advised me that the office of Barra McCrory could not be of any assistance to me in my case and that I would have to report it to the PSNI. No sorry or apology for keeping me written all that time. I wonder if I had said I was a member of Sinn Féin IRA or knew Adams and McGuinness would it have made a difference as Barra McGrory does a lot of work for Adams and Sinn Féin IRA or maybe he knew all along that Sinn Féin IRA and former Scapatici and a, a group of Sinn Féin IRA men murdered my father and that there was no way on earth that his corrupt office was going to help me. And I am sure he has also talked it over with his corrupt old boys club in the Bar Library and they advise him not to help me. Now, he is the last link in a long chain of corrupt people who form the legal and court system here in Northern Ireland. I said 14 years ago that these people were corrupt, now I have proved my point, and as of that I have no doubt. I have already wrote to the European Court of Human Rights about these corrupt medical, legal and court system in Northern Ireland. Now I will be adding the names of the Public Prosecution Office and Barra McCrory to the long list of corrupt people who run these services here in Northern Ireland. I live my life with integrity, morality and credibility. Now the same cannot be said about those corrupt people I have mentioned in my statement. I don't think they would even know how to spell them words. I have also noticed that recent cases sent to the Public Prosecution Office, Director Barra McGrory, have all been in favour of Republicans and Sinn Féin IRA, yet no one in authority has questioned his results, but of course, with the corrupt system we have here, that 
does not surprise me at all. It also means that uh, I have no way to redress my case, as I have tried every one of our so-called legal people, and these corrupt scum have backed each other up to the hilt. After all, the old boys club motto is, all for one and one for all. So, so we will see what the European Courts of Human Rights have to say about the corrupt antics of these people. It does not surprise me as to how they ha this scum have treated me, as they have done the same with my father's murder, and I had to spend 40 years sorting his case out, with no help at all from any of our so-called government agencies. Now, I would like to speak about George Hamilton and that corrupt police force. At long last, that discredited RUCPSNI with the backings of the Sinn Féin IRA have found a way to get rid of the HCT. Now, their informers who have killed many innocent victims while working for the RUCPSNI, for the Special Branch and for the British Army, can hold on to their jobs as MLAs at Stormont and as councillors at the City Hall without any fear of being arrested. Now we have mass murderers from Sinn Féin IRA, also murderers from the RUC PSNI and from loyalist groups walking the streets of Belfast as free men, while the innocent victims who were murdered by these people lie rotting in their graves. The RUC PSNA think that by selling the HCT that they and their chums Sinn Féin IRA have no crimes to answer. They have allocated themselves an amnesty, free from all charges. But I beg to differ. My group, the Arthur Rafferty Foundation, has already been in contact with the War Crimes Commission about the innocent victims and if you send me the names of your innocent victims, I will make sure that they are sent to the War Crimes Commission League. After all, our victims deserve to be remembered and looked after by us, the public. After all, Sinn Féin IRA and the PESNA remember their dead. All the money saved by sacking the HCT and their staff will go towards funding the wages of this corrupt RUC PSNA and our Sinn Féin IRA informers and their army agents who work for them. Don't let them get away with it. Now my father Arthur Rockley was one who was murdered by RUC PSNA Sinn Féin IRA informer Freddy Scapatici, just one of many. And I will make sure he will stand trial for his crime. No matter what that corrupt RUC PSNA George Hamilton says. The RUC PSNA knew for 40 years he murdered my father, as the murderer was a special branch informer employed by the RUC and paid by the British state. They know where this scum is and have done nothing about it. Now, and they are still paying him a wage, paid of course by the public purse. Yet this corrupt, discredited police force are crying out for more funding. The RUC, PSNI and Sinn Féin IRA and the British government want to forget about our innocent victims. But the Arthur Rafferty Foundation will never let that happen. Now, once again, I will remember you. Remember our innocent victims. They depend on us. Anyone who would like a tip of this story, or any one of my stories, can call me on my mobile 07715 9211137, leave your name and address and I will send you a tip free. Thank you. Anyone who has a story to, uh, to, to tell and wishes me to, to air it, can call me on my mobile 07715 9211137, or I can send you out a reporter to get your story, and remember, I will tell your story as you tell me. Nothing will be cut out. Now watch more of my stories on YouTube, ArthurRoughley.com, YouTube ArthurRoughley, ArthurRoughley Docker, YouTube JackSpot2012. That is a tip about uh, 
brutal murder of my father by a five-man gang of Sinn Féin IRA, headed by Freddy Scappadici, all under the auspices of the RUC, PSNI, Special Branch and the British Army. My email address is arthurrofferty1 at gmail.com. Now thank you for watching me on ASA TV and I will see you soon.